What's up, socialites? It's Alizé. Welcome to my channel, our channel, the best gymnastics community on YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Gym Talk. If you are new to my channel, we every Saturday we do this live stream for support, motivation, and gymnastics tips. This is a spot where we can connect and socialize. So today we're going to be talking about like what I'm doing for gymnastics this summer, and uh, and also Bethany and I's get and my gift swap. So first we're gonna talk about what we're doing this summer. So in a, in a couple weeks, or yeah, like in a couple weeks, we have a gymnastics camp. So, and that's like the whole week basically. And so, it, so you can like stay in a hotel and stuff and it's like really fun and you get to like hang out with new people that you see every day. And it's just really, I mean, like, you get to hang out with people, like, from other gyms, and you you just get to hang, like, you know, you get to hang out with people you won't see, like, so you get to, like, meet people. And, yeah, it's, like, really fun. You get, We do, like, dances, we do lots of gymnastics, and then you, like, learn new skills. It's basically like a gymnastics camp. Um... Shoutouts to Diana, D, Al Alicia, Will, Hannah, Sh uh, Bad Baby. Um, it's Car Carmelo, Natalie, Aubrey, uh, and Nadine, Addison, Gym Girl, uh, Precious Pretty, uh, Emily, Aubrey, and uh, Sandra, Faith, and so shout outs to anyone else that are on this chat because there's a lot of people. Okay, <laughs> so if you guys have any gymnastics questions or anything that you want to ask, you can ask. Oh yeah, and then, oh, shout out to Cool Kalita. And also for the um, Bethany's uh, gift swap that we did, it was really awesome. We we traded like food, we did like Leo's, we did, um, what else did we do? I gave her, what I gave her, I gave, <laughs> I gave her two squishies and a Leo and a slime, but it melted because like, um, it took a while to, you know, like send, so it kind of melted through the time, but like it's fine. <laughs> Uh, Sandra asked, how do you get so flexible? Well, I'm not very flexible, but the thing is you kind of just have to keep stretching and you kind of just have to push yourself to go down because if you don't push yourself to go down, you're not going to get flexible, you know. Um, Jim Girl asked, how do you do a back walkover on beam? Um, so you want to make sure that you're, like, you're very tight when you stand and make sure you're like, like your shoulders are up to your ears and you're prepared and so then when you go back try not to bend your knee forward a lot because that's what I do so it helps if you keep your um, bottom leg supported and that it's like you know like supported <laughs> I mean like don't bend it like make sure it's like strong and tight so that when you go backward you don't like collapse um Alicia Rose asked how to do a full on floor. So there's a couple things that you need to do. So you, first you want to start off with a layout and you want to make sure that you set and you spot something. Then next you go to a half. Um, and then for the half, you kind of want to make sure that you kind of twist late for the half instead of twisting early because then that will just create bad habits when you twist early because that's what I did. And then then when you get to the full, you want to make sure that you make sure, <laughs> whoa, you want to make sure that you set and then pull to the side and you want to make sure that you spot something on the wall because it helps a lot. Because when I used to do twisting, I used to um, like twist really early. So it helps if you set. Um, Emily asked for back layout twist. Twit, twit, <laughs> tips. I just said twips, okay. Oh, that was funny. Okay, so 
For back layouts, um, like what I said, you want to make sure you set and spot something and then pull your hands down like right away because that helps you kind of rotate faster and make sure you're like in a hollow shape, not like a pike or like an arch because when you're in a hollow, it you kind of like tighter, I guess, and it kind of helps you go up and um, like rotate a little bit better. Um, Cool Kalita asks, can you do the full middle splits? I cannot. I used to be able to, but I kind of can't anymore. I, I don't know. I just suck at middle splits, but I can do like my regular splits all the way down. Um, Maddie's Viz says, uh, back handsprings on floor tips. Okay, so for back handsprings, you want to make sure that your arms are like very strong and you don't because like when people go back they kind of like forget about their arms and they kind of just like collapse really easily so you want to make sure that your arms are tight and then when you uh, go back don't jump to the side kind of go straight over the top and try to straighten your knees i know it might be a little hard for like the first time but like just try to straighten your knees Okay guys, so um, for the gift swap, Bethany uh, designed this Jaguar Leo um, and it's really, really nice. I love it. I think this is one of my favorite Leos now. And so um, you guys should go check out her YouTube website thingy. <laughs> check out her video because she just posted her, her video this morning. So go check that out. But anyways, this is the Leo. Um, and then this is the back. I really like the back because I I don't have like any open backs that look like this, which is really cool. And I just love the fabric because it's really silky and I love the design and the color. So it's really pretty. Um, so for the gift swap um, unboxing video, we will be uh, posting it this Wednesday. So be sure to stay tuned. Uh, Hannah asked any tips for giants on bars. So for uh, tips, you want to make sure that you start from a cast handstand or something from a handstand because that gives you more momentum instead of like starting from like a 45 degree angle. But anyways, when you go down, you want to tap underneath kind of like the bar underneath your body. So like it's like this because some people tap like over the low bar and that kind of like messes it up and sometimes they might hit their toes on the low bar so you want to make sure that you tap at the right time and then when you kind of you kind of have to make sure that your core is tight because if your core isn't tight then it's going to be harder for you to get over the top. Um, hey Instagram people! Um, so Cool Kalita asked for any tips for cartwheels. So uh, tips for cartwheels, you want to make sure that you kind of do like one foot, then one hand, and then the other hand, and then your feet at that. I also did a video on the cartwheel, so go check that out. But anyways, for the cartwheel, you kind of just want to make sure, like at least like, try to go straight over the top. I know like some people like on their first try they might not be able to do that. But when you do a cart you cartwheel, you want to make sure that you go straight over the top and try and try to like split your legs a little bit further away so that when you land your one foot hits the floor first and then your other one. Uh Buggy uh asked, "What is your favorite event?" My favorite event would probably be bars. Um, Precious Pretty uh, asked any tips for aerials. So for aerials, it's kind of like the same thing as a cartwheel, but like no hands. Duh. But you want to make sure that the leg that kicks over kind of kicks harder so you get more momentum and then the leg that's on the floor, you have to push off the floor so you get more height, and then, then you'll have time to kind of rotate over. So, yeah. Uh, Robert says, cute haircut. Thank you. Um, Jacqueline asked 
for tips on back hips, back handspring step outs on beam. So for back handspring step outs, a thing that I do, well I used to do this, I kind of fixed it, but you, I used to put my hands like this or like this. So you want to make sure that they're like one's in front and then one's behind because if your hands are like this, it's kind of going to be harder for you to support your body when you're on the beam. And yeah, I, I thought like putting my hands like this was so much easier because I got used to it and like I, I was like perfectly squared. Well, I was like not perfectly squared, but like I was squared than having my hands like this because like, I would fall a lot. So, yeah. And then um, make sure that your arms are tight and your shoulders are pressed against your ears. And make sure you split because if you don't split, then it's not going to work out. And yeah, uh, pressure is pretty as for any tips for a press handstands. Um, I can't do a press handstand, <laughs> but it's all about like your shoulders and your abs, I guess. So it's like your arms and your core. And so you like want to make sure you condition a lot for that because that will help you get up to the press handstand. Uh, Muzi asked for any tips on back tucks. So for back tucks, you it's kind of like a back layout. So basically you kind of want to spot something and set and then pull your knees to your chest so you kind of get a faster rotation. Um, Cherry asked for tips for squat on on bars. So for squat ons, you want to make sure that you push on the bar because if you don't push on the bar, your feet aren't going to make it. And so then after that, you kind of want to make sure that your shoulders are leaning over the bar. So that way you'll go towards like the high bar and keep your legs together because that will help too. But just make sure that you push on the bar. And if you like fall backwards, don't like keep holding on to the bar because if you do that, you might hit yourself and it might hurt you. <laughs> so just make sure that you kind of let go of the bar. Um, la, 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 la. Richard Does Gymnastics says, tips for back handsprings. So for back handsprings, you want to make sure that your arms are tight and your shoulders are by your ears and you want to kind of kick, I mean like use your hips to kind of get your feet over. Cause like standing back handsprings are really hard cause you don't have that much momentum, I guess. So you want to make sure that you swing, but like don't swing to the side swing, straight over the top and then, yeah. And then when, yeah, use your like hips, I guess, to like get over faster. Um, Amber's Gymnastics says, any tips for a roundup back handspring full? So, you also want to have like a good hurdle when you do back tumbling and front tumbling, but like your tumbling kind of depends on the hurdle, because if you do like a bad hurdle, then you kind of will do bad, you know? So, make sure your hurdle kind of stretches a little bit further, not like by your feet, you know? And then also when you hurdle, make sure your uh, your arms are by your ears. And then for the full, make sure you set and pull to the side. Um, Kelsey asked, why did you cut your hair? I cut my hair because I kind of wanted to change my hairstyle because I thought it was just a little bit boring, you know? And I was like used to having long hair. But like, I kind of like it. Uh, sometimes it gets a little frustrating, but it's easier to have my hair like this. And it's really hot outside. <laughs> um, five siblings asked for back bend kickover tips. So for a back bend, make sure you kind of, kind of when you go backwards, put your push your hips kind of forward a little bit so you go backwards and another thing is try to straighten your legs while you're going backwards. I know it might be a little hard but it will help you a lot 
And then for the kickover, you want to make sure that the leg that is on the ground kind of pushes you over because that's the only way to get over, you know. So then you use the leg that's in the air to try and push it this way, if that makes any sense. So you're like in the air like this. So this is like your leg that's on the floor and then this is the leg that's in the air. Try and push it that way so that way you'll kind of rotate. Uh, la, 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 la. Precious Pretty says, do you use makeup? I do not use makeup, but I use chapstick, so. Um, oh, by A-R, <laughs> wait, A-R, oh, uh, uh, did I say that right? <laughs> um, Hannah asked for any tips on back handspring, back handspring on beam. I used to do these, I kind of started jumping crooked, I and mean, that, that's why I stopped, because I started jumping crooked. And so, make sure you don't jump crooked, and make sure that your arms are strong, because if they're not strong, you're gonna collapse. So try not to bend your arms that much, and just think that it's just a back handspring, and then, and then another back handspring, because if you have like a wrong mindset, then you might think of something else, and then you might die. <laughs> like you might like slip off the beam or something. So you just want to make sure that you're like focused. Uh, random girl XOXO says, "How do you get over fear of doing a back handspring, even with a spot?" Um. If you have a spot, you kind of have to trust trust yourself and trust the person that's spotting you because um, they're kind of like helping you to get over. I mean, nothing's going to happen. Um, and also, if you can like do it on a mat or like in a resi or on a cheese mat, um, that's also going to help you because it's easier and you won't get hurt as much, you know. So you kind of just have to trust the person that's spotting you. Uh, Precious Pretty asked, what gymnastics level are you? Um, I am training nine this year, but I was a level eight. Uh, Jacqueline asked, cast handstand tips. Uh, so for cast handstands, push on the bar and pretend like it's like a Press handstand, so like, but from your feet, you know. But you want to make sure that you get your butt up in the air first, and make sure that you're like in a little straddle. And then, when you get up, you want to straddle even more to get your feet together. But if you're doing like a regular cast, um, push down the bar and open your shoulders up a lot because that's the only way that you're gonna get up. And make sure your core is tight. Gers Kalar asks, what's your favorite event? My favorite event is bars. Um, Buggy asks, how old am I? I am 12 years old. Lion, Lion, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to say it. But uh, she asked how to do a back walkover. So for back walkovers, you want to make sure that your arms are by your ears and so that your shoulders are pressed up by your ears. Um, and keep your head neutral. And also, when you go back, make sure your leg is straight and not bent. And, uh, and keep your arms strong, because that helps. And then try and strain your legs. Uh, jo Jolianne asks for any tips for splits. So for splits, just kind of push yourself to go down because if you don't go down, then you're just going to stay in the same spot. So try and keep your arms up in the air, like on the side, so that your body will just like go down. That makes sense. Because like if your arms are by your side, you're going to stay there the whole time, you know. So try and like keep your arms to the side. Um... Uh, la, 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 la. Reese asked if I am homeschooled. I am homeschooled. Uh, la, la, la. 
shout out to Richard Does Gymnastics for Life. Um, Precious Pretty, oh, asked, are you homeschooled or are you public homeschooled? I am homeschooled. Um, Alyssa asked for any tips for side aerials. For side aerials, pretend like it's a cartwheel just with no hands. <laughs> but you want to make sure, I keep saying that, but you do want to make sure that you kick your leg that's in the air, the first leg that gets in the air over the top really fast because that's the only way you get over. And then the leg that's on the ground, you need to make sure that you kind of push off the ground with that so you get up and you'll rotate. Um, Reese says, aren't you in level eight? I am in level eight, but I am training level nine for this year. Um, Nick asked, what's your favorite event? My favorite event is bars. Um, Hannah asked, any tips for a free up handstand on bars? So for free up handstand on bars, you want to make sure, I keep saying that, <laughs> but you want to make sure that you kind of start from a handstand or like somewhere near a handstand or have a spot because that's the only way you get more momentum and you'll make it a little bit easier. And so don't throw your head out when you're going under the bar because wherever your head goes, then your body goes that way. So yeah, and then, so if you keep your head in, you'll go straight up, but if you keep your head out, then it's gonna go out. Uh, Precious Pretty asks, what is your favorite second? Oh wait, what is your second favorite sport? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe volleyball, I guess. Um, a buggy asked emoji game. Do you guys want to do an emoji game? We can do an emoji game. Um, I don't have my phone with me, but I have an emoji. It's a fruit, so if you guys want to come down a fruit, then yeah. Uh, Richard does gymnastics as for tips for a kip. So for kips, <laughs> for uh, the, what is a kip, you want to make sure, you want to make sure <laughs> that you glide all the way out because a lot of people just don't glide all the way out. They kind of just like stop. So I kind of think that gives you a little bit more momentum, but I sometimes, I don't really think about it. I kind of just like go, you know, go with the flow. But yeah, I, always, I sometimes get correct, corrected for not gliding all the way out. So make sure you glide all the way out. And then when you get your feet to the bar, your ankles want to be to the bar, if that makes sense. So you glide and then you put your ankles to the bar and then use your arms to get up. You have to use your arm muscles. Um, Lee Allen says, I know how to do a front tuck. That's awesome. Uh, Gers asks, when did you start doing gymnastics? I started when I was seven. Uh, well, Alyssa says, hey, in London, where I live, we call Kips overshoots. That's so cool. Um, shout out to the London people. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Anyways, uh, Jacqueline Ellis says, can you help me with giants? So for giants, push tall in your shoulders because bars, you want to make sure that you're tight and when you go down, don't tap near the low bar, tap where you're, you know, like the high bar, so say this is the high bar, and then you wanna, and then this is your body, you wanna tap like right underneath your body, <laughs> you know? Okay, and then when you, for blah, blah, blah. So when you try to get over, you wanna make sure that you use your core, and don't arch, because it's gonna be, it might hurt your back, and it's, gonna get harder for you. So use your toes to kind of get over and your body. Um, uh, Leanne asked for tips on a front hip circle. So you wanna get into a front support position and push on the bar. 
and when you go down, try to go a little bit fast so you get more momentum and then you'll get over and use your arms again to kind of like boost yourself up onto the bar again. Um, bye girls. Okay, so Julian asked, do you know how to get over mental blocks on a kickover and backbend kickover? So trust yourself and if there is a spot there for you, try and get a spot first so you get used to it. And then another thing is you can get a shadow spot, which is where the coach is there, but they're kind of just like there, but they're not like touching you. So you can get a shadow spot and then once you don't want a shadow spot, you can just try it by yourself. And then also I try it on a mat just so that you, like don't get hurt or anything. Uh, uh, Sydney Productions asked for tips for a front handspring. So for a front handspring, when you hurdle, you wanna make sure that, that your arms are by your ears and you reach forward. And then when you're, when you're landing, make sure that your feet are either under you or a little bit more behind you because if you land with your feet in front of you, you might kind of like bounce backwards. So you don't want to bounce backwards. You kind of want to bounce forwards, but upwards. Um, Buggy says, I am moving to level five. Good job. Um, Aubrey says, tips for backflips, please. So for backflips, you want to make sure that you spot something and you set with your arms by your ears and not to the side and not like this, like that. <laughs> um, bye Alyssa. Uh, Vanessa says tips for a flyaway. So for flyaways, you want to make sure that you open your shoulders up and you kind of Throw the bar behind you because you don't want to close in your shoulders or else you'll pull in. You just want to see your toes and let go. If you guys subscribe, it should pop up right here. Uh, la la. Ellen asked for back handspring tips. So for tips on a back handspring, you want to make sure that your arms are strong and your arms are by your ears when you start. And then when you go backwards, you want to make sure that you don't jump to the side, you jump straight over the top and make sure your arms are very strong. Uh, let's see, any other questions? Da, 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 da. Crazy Dog Lover says, it's almost midnight for me. It's actually 3.34 p.m. where I live. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we got, I mean, we guys, we have like about two minutes left, so if you guys have any more questions, comment down below. Uh, Gymnast Perfect says tips for back handspring. I, sorry, press handstand. Oh my gosh, sorry. So if, I can't really do one, but you want to make sure that you condition for your arms and for your core and a little bit of your hips, I guess. But a thing that I do, because I can't do a press handstand, is I press until my feet hit the floor, and then then I press to a handstand, but my feet are on the floor, you know? So, like, I press to a handstand, and then I go back to a sitting position. Uh, Holly, Holly May Jim says, I need help with a front handspring. So, for a front handspring, you want to make sure that your arms are by your ears and you reach forward. And when you land, you want to make sure that your feet are under you or behind you because you don't want to land your feet in front of you or else you jump backwards. So you want to jump up and forwards. And to get more momentum, I'd kind of start with a run first. Uh, Reese asks for tips for cast handstand on bars. So for a cast handstand, you want to make sure that you Push on the bar and when you're about here, you want to start opening your shoulders up so you'll get to the cast handstand. 
But if you're doing a straddle handstand, get your butt up in the air first and then go to the handstand because I kind of arched up instead of like piking, I guess. So you want to make sure that you get your butt up and then go to the handstand. Um, Mm. Richard does gymnastics for life. Says tips for a pike glide swing. Um, I don't really do pike glide swings, but um, I guess the tip for that is try to stay piked, I guess. And make sure your body's tight. Uh, okay, guys. Oh yeah, did you guys want to do the emoji game? Because... I don't have mine. Okay guys, so I have an emoji in my head. So, oh yeah, sorry. The emoji is in the food section, I guess. Uh, Reese says, did you go to nationals this year? Um, I didn't go to nationals this year because level eight only goes up to regionals, but next year I will. Uh, Mint Rose asked for tips for starting gymnastics. Um, just kind of have fun with it, you know. It's fun, like starting gymnastics. Um, Did someone get it yet? No, not yet. So it's in the food section. Okay, Alan Shepard got it, but you are only allowed to put one emoji down. Sorry, if I didn't say that, I'm sorry, but you got it. Good job. Shout out to Alan Shepard. So that's it for this week's Gym Talk. Um, if you guys want to follow... Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. I, I think I said this already, but um, I will be unboxing the uh, Bethany's package um, I mean, I will be posting that video this Wednesday, so stay tuned for that video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye, guys!